Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick nap time face. I'm going on a mommy swim day this afternoon and I just need to like make this look. All right, so my skin is fresh. I washed it and moisturized it, hydrated it, the whole thing. Um, so I'm gonna start with this Maybelline pen, very similar to the YSL Touche Clap. Uh, so I'm just gonna put it, you know, kind of where I need to brighten things up, really the whole face, but like just really the areas that are desperate. Okay, and I know I look like a clown, but it always does help to do the mustache area because I don't know about you, but on me, even if there's no hair there, it's just a little darker. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the Becca Skim Ring Shim Perfector. I wear it every single day, and I mix it with the Honest uh, Tinted Moisturizer in Nectar. It's actually like a foundation. Okay, so I do like a little blend action on my hand, and then I just kind of get it going on there. Use a brush just to kind of, you know, get a good blend. All right. So we're really gonna work it in there. I'm telling you the Honest Tinted Moisturizer is like the most amazing thing. It really gives. All right, so things are already looking at. So I'm gonna just blend in this eye brightener and I like to bring it around to the top of my eyelid. Cause mine are just a little. I mean, really, this is an improvement. Okay. So um, the eyes are looking a little brighter, but for all who know me, you know I like a wide under eye. So I'm gonna use the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. It's like literally the best thing ever. And I use the lightest in Chantilly. Whenever I go to Sephora and I ask for the lightest color, it's always like a little controversial, but I never let them bully me into something darker because I, I, I know what I like. So I like to let the under eyes set while I kind of move on to other areas of my face that need help as well. Yeah, that one. So I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer this time. This time we use a tone that like matches my face actually, um, and this is custard. Um, I think I have more like a yellowish kind of tone. Um, anyway, so you know, due to like hormones and all that, like I have a lot of areas that just need assistance on my face. So we're just gonna go wild, you know? And so while I wait for that to set, I'm gonna work this under eye in a little bit. I mean, there's life again, right? And then I just like to kind of like, after I blend the eyes, I like to take what's left of the kind of light color and just put it in some areas that could use some brightening without being too bright. We're all blended out. I'm just gonna go in here with a little uh, pink blush. Um, the blush I use is Blush Horizon de Chanel uh, Soft Glow Blush. It's actually super old and I just refound it, so it's new again. Okay, so I gotta set these pimples because I'm going in the pool later and, you know, we gotta make it stand the water test. So, like, literally, I don't know, for like 10 years, I've used the Chanel Double Perfection Compact in 10 beige, which is very light, but I use it on my under eyes as well. I'm not going to today. But it is the best compact and mine broke maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago. So I went to go get a new one and they are no longer selling them because they're coming out with a new one, which I'm told will be very similar and better. Anyway, so we're gonna set these. It's also pretty full coverage. It's just actually the best. And I'm just gonna set the chin. Okay, so this is it. Obviously we have to add bronzer. It's the best part of every makeup situation. Um, I toggle. I have like so many different bronzers I use. Um, but there's one that's like kind of similar to my actual skin color. It's the Honest Beauty one in Dawn Ref So I like to do this one kind of just to blend my face and set everything. Um, sometimes when I use like, uh, you know, like a powder that's like light, then it makes my whole face have like kind of like a light undertone and I just don't like that. Because I already kind of look dead, you know, because I'm tired and blah, blah, blah. All right, and then I'm just gonna go over like my cheekbones and like just like kind of the perimeters of my face with the Hourglass Ambient Light and Luminous Bronze Light. I love. All right, this is the Hourglass. Oh yeah. But like, is it ever too much bronzer? Is it? Gotta do the neck, cause now my face, you know, is pretty tan. My neck is not. We're coming 
close to the end, um, but of course, got to do the eyebrow situation. So it's pretty simple. Take my little eyebrow brush and I wet it under the faucet, give a little tap, and then I comb these bad boys out. And then it's also great for like picking up brush hairs, which literally, it's like, so then after I comb them or whatever, I take a piece of tissue and I like to get all the makeup off the brows, which there was a lot. And since I'm going swimming, I'm just not going to do like a whole eyeshadow mascara situation, but I do like to kind of just wet my eyelashes. So I kind of just get the makeup off because I hate that dusty eyelash look. And then I curl them with my little eyelash curler. And it kind of opens my eye, you know, without mascara, which is kind of... And this is the Maybelline Baby Lips. And I really like it. You know, hydrated my lips are a little dry. Maybe it's the water.